Howdy guys, this is Silent Senior 09 and we're back with more Let's Play Banjo Tooie! And we last left off, we were pretty much finished up with Glitter Gulch Mine. Just about. There's stuff we'll have to do when we come back later, but for the time being, we are done here, so we're gonna go right back through this tunnel that led right to uh, Mayan Temple. Oh, excuse me, don't be yawning. That's a sign that I need to quit, man. Serious, I've been recording for almost two hours now. I needs to quit soon, son. So it's like, you need to quit while you ahead. You're gonna shoot your own... No, shoot your own. Put a nail in your own foot, man. Man. I can just imagine, though, who came up with that expression, you know. Put a nail in your own foot. Or actually, no, it's not put a nail in your own foot. It's, uh, shoot a nail in your own foot or something. Or shoot your own foot. I don't know what the heck the expression is. That, that tells you how tired I am, because I just, I don't know. <laughs> I'm sorry. That has got to be the worst combination of words right there. It's just, I, 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 I don't know. <laughs> Man, can you sound any more intelligent? Really? <laughs> it's like you're drunk or something, man. Go home, Silent Senior, you're drunk. Seriously. Okay, what you running, going to want to do with this jiggy? Assuming I can find the right column here. Or pillar, if you want to call it that. There it is. Okay, and for whatever reason, you, each time you strike one of these pillar thingies, it shakes the jiggy off to the next pillar. What makes it even weirder is you are timed upon doing this. Ow. Really? Really? You're going to take advantage of the fact that I was in air trying to do something? And you're going to sit there and just let your head head bonk me? Like a freaking Goombaria or Goombella? I don't believe that. That's just bull-loney. Bull hockey, man. Bull cow maneuver crap. Anyway. So, yeah. All you gotta do is just go around in kind of a circle direction. I want to say it's clockwise, but maybe it's counterclockwise. In which case, oopsie, my bad. Okay, here we go. Prison compound. Yep. Once you get the jiggy down there, you should be good, good to go. You know, like whenever... Uh, Sergeant, what's his name? Sergeant Hero? Like, Sarge from Sergeant Heroes goes, Good to go! As soon as he, uh, gets full health or something. I don't know. It's an old game I haven't played in like, forever. Why are you trying to build to roll his head? Seriously? He doesn't have any gold you're trying to dig up. Alrighty, so, that actually, believe it or not, folks, cleans up the rest of, uh, Mayan Temple. Which makes it nice and ha nice and neat, you know. Kind of makes it feel like we're getting somewhere, you know, because there's honestly going to be a point in the game, I think, in, when World 4 hits us, or World 3, one of the two, when those two worlds hit us, it's going to feel like we're not accomplishing anything, or we're never going to be finished, because of all the backtracking they make us do between different worlds and stuff, it just, it gets to be really messy. So, I mean, I don't know, it's just crazy. Okay, so, we're going to have to come back here. I don't know why I decided to do this first, but I'm like, well, I kind of want to just get those jiggy, jiggy wees or those golden nuggets, out of the way first, because I didn't feel like messing with this. I, I truthfully did, and I was like, eh, I don't feel like doing it, but I'm thinking to myself, you know what, you might as well, since you had to backtrack now, you might as well go ahead and do it to it. Man, though, I'm just, ugh. I don't like recording too, too long, because I notice my commentary does tend to dry off a little bit. And then I start sounding all dull-like, like I'm some kind of person who doesn't know how to tell a story. And all I can do is talk in a monotone. Blah, blah, blah. And the next thing you know, I'm going to start making noises, going like... You know, like a, maybe like a duck and quack. Okay, so right back here, actually, near uh, your house and Bottle's dead body, his corpse now, actually, is the boulder with the fish. <sighs> so much better. Shouldn't you be in the water where it's safer? You're right. I'll probably dry up and die if I don't get back to the moat around the spiral mountain soon. <sighs> I suppose you'll be wanting to be carried then. Well, I'd walk there myself, but we goldfish are a little disadvantaged in the lake department. <laughs> Sorry. 
That was just kind of cute. Just a little bit disadvantaged in the leg department. No, just a little bit. That just almost makes you want to help them out, honestly, when somebody says that. I don't know. I just think it's cute. Don't let me go out and put up these extra bubbles on us, maybe on some yellow Bubbles? We want at least a jiggy for that! So, I'm sorry, I'm all on our bubbles. However, I will also teach you how to swim in the last stream. Swim in the first stream even be the grand cherry level. Aww. Sure enough, this really neat ability is gonna come in handy, especially with the world when World 4 hits us. We're gonna push B when you push B and A, it basically makes Banjo and Kazooie swim together. And I swear you can do laps around this entire island without running out of air. And because we have double air now, we're like really set uh, set and ready to rock and roll this joint. Alrighty, now, little known to tidbit, but you can actually go up here and get the, whatever's up there in a cage. All you have to do is aim a grenade egg, assuming you learn the grenade egg move, and fire it out there. Normally you'd probably wait till after World 3 and you learned a particular move you end up learning there, but... What am I doing? I don't want the boots. <laughs> I want actually the running shoes. Anyway, you can do that to kind of speed along your journey here as far as backtracking is concerned, because there's going to be multiple times you're going to have to come back this away that it definitely pays to get as much crap as you can done and out of the way so you don't have to redo, you know, going back to this place. And I don't know, I just, I feel like it's worthwhile, or worth noting the fact that you can do certain things then, you know, before other things happen. Just by learning certain moves like grenade egg launch and A game and stuff like that. Alright, let's get in there. Shall we? Okay. Yeah, I don't know what it is with my build drilling, but I need to calm down with that. Ooh, pink. It's hot pink. Hot pink, I tell you. Well, 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 it's a Banjo Kazooie's mysterious pink secret egg. I wonder what's inside. You said that last time. I know I did, punk. You quit reminding me. Whatever. Anyway, so while we're here, there's also one more thing we can do. We get another grenade egg. Get out of here, Shrek. Dude, dude, here, big face. Oh, okay. you don't want you want to do that? Okay. How about a peck to the face? Open your mouth. Let me hear you say ah uh, ah uh, ah uh, ah uh, ah uh, ah. Uh. Let me hear you say ah 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 ah. Oh, okay. Man, I tell you, actually, you know what? I gotta say this right now. You know something that's really stuck in my head? It's that one silly song by Maroon. I think it's Maroon Five, and and it features like Christina Algara or something like that. And it's basically the moves like Jagger, and I got that one line stuck in my head. I don't know if any of you've ever done that and got a song stuck in your head, but I do right now. Oh, jeez. Great, you've got enough pages for me to tell you a new secret cheat. About time! Spill the beans! Hand over my precious pages first. Okay, here you go. Much obliged. My first cheat is feathers. Got it? Okay, so here's a small clue as to how you activate the cheat. Mayan temple. Code chamber. Letters. Got it? No, I still don't understand. I do, Banjo. Come on, let's go use that cheat. I like the contrast in character there, actually. Alrighty, so every time you talk to Cheeto, or if you enter a new cheat, He'll give you this list of cheats. Basically, it's just kind of a way to remind you, saying, hey, these are the cheats you can enter. And if you haven't entered it yet, it'll still, I think, appear in yellow or something. So, I'm, I mean, I've seen a lot of people that, like, let's play this or wondered, like, okay, well, what was the point of that menu? You know, just to hold us up and make us have to push B again? Yeah, in one sense, I think they, the game developers did it for that reason, but they also did it because sometimes if you forget to enter cheats in, which I'm actually very prone to doing, guys, so I'm going to warn you right now, if I forget to, oops, and apologies in advance, because it's just so easy just to like dismiss it and shovel it off our shoulder because it's such a tedious task to do that you really truthfully can't be bothered to go back into Mayan Temple and do that. It's like one of those frivolous things you just don't really want to mess with, but you know, eventually we'll have to be done, so... Alas, here we go. We're gonna go ahead and do this, you know. 
really would rather not, but then again, <laughs> it's better to get it done and out of the way. Anywho, I will meet you guys near the uh, uh, Code Secret Cheat Chamber, so see you in a sec, guys. Okay, so here in Jade Snake Grove, this is actually where the cheat code place is. This is also where we met Slumber on top of the hill there. And we used the Golden Goliath to kick this door in, but right in here is actually where the cheat place is. I probably mentioned it once, but now we have a use for it, so now Cheeto's going to tell us a little tutorial. But basically, all you got to do is step on it, and this is where you spell out the cheats. And you have to actually spell using the aim egging technique that you learned within this level, basically. And, yeah, yeah, use the control stick and the Z to fire, and you have to aim carefully and hit the right letter, because if you hit the wrong letter, like, for example, if I spell F, and then E for feathers, and then I accidentally hit M, you have to start all over, basically. You know, say that's not how you spell it, I'm afraid you're going to start over again with the first letter. I know, I didn't say the line in character, but I'm like, I'm not really in the mood right now, I'm just like, I just want to get this last bit done, because I'm pretty much finished recording for tonight. Alrighty, so F E A T H E R S. Ta da! Nice shooting. Now, step across to the cheat sheet on the wall over there and press B to view your new cheat. The feathers cheat will double the maximum number of red f and gold feathers that you can carry. Yeah, normally after you complete a cheat, He'll say what the cheat does, actually, right after you do enter it into the code thing, so... If it seemed like an awkward, like, okay, why did he do that twice? That's why, excuse me, we're gonna go ahead and turn that bad boy on. Just because it never hurts to have extra gold feathers and red feathers. Then after you press A and you see the text is green and it says ON, you're going to go ahead and press B, which will then cancel the menu and what have you. I know it sounds like my commentary's probably off there, but it actually isn't, I'm just a little behind in what's going on on the action here. You know, the action! All that action going on here! Not that there's really a whole lot, I'm just collecting junk, entering codes, getting to, just so I can get more junk, basically. Alrighty, so we are uh, pretty much coming to a close here, believe it or not, folks. Uh, I'm going into two hour, about two hours and five minutes here, and I'm, uh... Oh, needless to say, I'm a little tired. This is probably going to be like half of a video or close to three quarters of a video, so I probably won't try. I won't, I'll try not to keep you. But the next area we're going to go to is actually in Pine Grove. We're going to be heading straight off to uh, World Three, which is Witchy World. So uh, thank you guys for watching. Love you all very much. Please don't let your tails flat. And as question of the video, what are some what are some things that ladies do that annoy you? Leave in the comments if there are anything, anything in particular that ladies or fe anybody of the female g gender does that really bugs the poo out of you. Let me know, because I would love to read your comments, guys and gals. Peace out, y'all. Check it. <laughs> nice. Nice, Kazooie. Really nice. Seriously, you gotta go do that? And get out of here, Shrek.